Hello and welcome to Robotics with Om sir. So today in this video we will see how to write code in python for embed to movement. So let's get started with the program. Firstly here you have to write your program name. I write embed movement using python. Next then start writing program C. Here in the ID we have uh, two blocks. One is block based coding. One is Python based. So compiler or interpreter you can call it. So this is block based means using scratch blocks we can code. Then here we can code using Python compiler or interpreter. So just click on Python. After that here you, you have to add cyberpy device first you know we have cyberpy device on the mbot 2 so add cyberpy device if uh, it is not present there then switch to upload mode after that we have to start writing code so very first line we have to import modules so write import for this program we need event time mbot 2 for the wheels movement and all and pi. so these four modules we need for the mbot 2 movement so event time mbot 2 and cyber pi next now we have to print that if a button is pressed mbot 2 will spin if B button is pressed, mbot will draw one square. So anything if you have to print on the screen or console of the cyberpy, for that you have to write cyberpy dot console dot print ln. ln is for line here. See the picture on the screen. So like this we have to draw, uh, sorry, we have to write two lines, if A is pressed then spin, if B is, B is pressed then draw square. So like this we have to print these two lines on the screen of cyberpy. So let's back to coding. So we have, for that we have to write cyberpy.console.println in brackets in single quote we have to draw press a for spin next then for again we have to write one line below that for square so i'll write press because we have to repeat one condition multiple times uh, like we have to uh, draw uh, run that program multiple time uh, if you press a multiple time if you press b multiple time so for that we need one forever loop so in python we have to take while true while true so while the condition is true it means in forever loop then colon you know after every loop or function we have to give colon so colon and then press enter so it will auto indent that content like 8 space it will give already or it will give one tab here so start writing inside that loop that if cyberpy.controller you know difference between console and controller the console is the screen of cyberpy and the controller which means here joystick which is present on the cyberpy so cyberpy.controller so control in controller you can consider joystick and uh, button a or button b okay all the controls which we have on the cyberpy are the controllers so if cyberpy.controller dot is underscore press so if on the controller if anything is pressed like if you take a, it means but if button a is pressed again if is uh, conditional statement here so we have to give colon colon then what we have to do if a is pressed 
so it means when we are pressing a button then we have to do is that m bot to dot so this m bot to name is coming because of this module so we have already imported m bot to module here so we are firing that met method on that uh, module so m bot to dot so turn you can take turn turn right or left so turn right so it will take two arguments so one is that it will take speed how many rpm so at which speed we have to rotate we have to rotate at 50 rpm means rotation per minute or you can say revolution per minute so at 50 rpm for how many seconds four seconds we have to move so this is for if so another if we have to write below that if exactly below so we don't have to write uh, one if inside another if these two if are separate if so if button a is pressed and another separate if is that if button b is pressed so if cyberpy dot controller that dot is pressed then b here we have to take We can give normally also any condition if B is pressed or draw square. So we can give instructions like like this: um, move 10 centimeter, turn like uh, turn right, or we can give at 50 RPM move for one second, then turn right again 50 RPM, turn right 50 RPM, turn right. So like this also we can draw square, but we want to reduce or compress our code. So for that we'll take one for loop. So that we can uh, multi uh, we can uh, multiply the statements. We can write. So start with the code m m bot two dot forward. So firstly move forward. At which speed? At fifty rpm. For how many seconds? One second. So this is one. Then m bot two dot turn. So it will take turn. Then turn 90 degree so you know in square in square we have to turn like this in square so first code if this this way it will rotate the m2 for 4 second like this okay and for another if cyberpy.control is press b it will move forward m2 at 50 rpm for one second again it will take 90 degree turn then again it will move forward at 50 rpm again 90 degree turn 50 rpm for 50 rpm so we just have to repeat these two instructions four times so for that we need one loop so how to take loop so printer and if you have to take for loop write for for count count is variable here count in range so range is how many times we have to repeat those below in instructions so we have to repeat four times again for is another loop so that we have to give semicolon have to give indentation so i will press back button and then i will enter so this is actual indentation for m bot to turn okay so this much code we have written so start from first line we have to import four modules compulsory cyberpy dot console dot print ln ln is line here so print line press a for spin press b for b for square so in while true it means in forever loop so this is loop so this is forever loop okay like this so if cyberpy dot controller is press a m bot to dot turn right if cyberpy matlab cyber if cyberpy we are pressing a button then turn m bot to at 50 rpm for 4 seconds it will spin that m bot to and if second condition b is pressed then in for loop so loop will run repeatedly like this so this loop is like this again statement again statement so it will it will repeat these two statement four times because we, we are taking for count in range four so let's see we'll upload this code in our uh, sorry in our m bot 2 so see i'll upload the code now i have connected my m bot 2 to the laptop uh, make sure that you are in upload mode already then click on connect then again click on connect so it will show one pop up that as connected so it means our m2 is now connected with the laptop so click on upload code to upload your code so 
it will upload your code into m.2 that is in cyberpy now it's time to run that code see the screen now you can clearly see in the given video if button a is pressed and if we press b button it will draw a square so again if we press uh, a button it will spin if b button is pressed it will draw on square So this is how we can write code for robot movement or m2 movement we can say. So here we are done with two concepts only one if a is pressed if b is pressed and we have to take loop to repeat our actions to repeat our instructions and here if we have to display something on the cyberpy console or display we have to write the syntax like cyberpy dot console dot print ln for line print line so that's all for this uh, activity we'll see you in the next video till then thank you for watching this video